Well, watching the hearings with us today is a former senior executive at AIG, Ron Shelp. Ron was responsible for government relations and international affairs for the insurer. He's the author of Fallen Giant, the amazing story of Hank Greenberg and the history of AIG. Ron, welcome back to Bloomberg News. Always good to have you on. Thank you, Mark. Nice T to be here. Talk to me about Mr. Cassano. Is he going to be the biggest villain in all of this? Well, I think he's a villain. Why? Well, I think he's a villain personally because he cost me a lot of money. But he cost a lot of other people much more than I did. You know, there was, an, there was a savings program at AIG where executives put their worth, really, in AIG stock over a 20, 30, 40 year period. I didn't work there that long. I left quite a while back. These people have lost hundreds of millions of dollars. They've lost their life savings, and it's tragic, really. But, but is it so much his fault as the risk management folks at AIG for not understanding what he was doing? I mean, for a while, he was making gobs of money for AIG, and, and people weren't questioning that, that move at that time. Well, I wouldn't want to designate him alone as being the fault finder in this. He obviously had people that worked with him, and he had supervisors. And these supervisors have to take some responsibility, too. You're quite right. And the the uh, blame can be spread around. And we should specify that Mr. Cassano was running the financial union in London, and they were the ones who were deeply involved in the credit defaults swaps, correct? Right. But that's where the losses were. Okay. It's the credit default swaps that lost the billions of dollars. Wow. Um, talk to me about the type of person that Mr. Cassano was and the type of leadership that he instilled in his people at AIG. As you mentioned, this isn't just one of those things where you just point the finger at him. There's enough blame to go around, correct? Right. That's right. Well, you know, I never met him. Okay. I never knew him. I left before he came. Uh, my understanding, he was very profit-oriented and probably more profit-oriented than he was risk management-oriented. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard and that's what I understand. I'm curious if you think, um, you know, obviously you're not just talking about blame going on him, but around different people, but is it also that the culture of AIG changed? I mean, you, you go from an insurer that's a traditional insurer to something that takes on more risk and is more focused on profit growth. Is that how you saw the change sort of happening as, as you were there and then left? No, I don't think the culture really changed. Back to when the company started in 1919 in China, they've always built this culture of risk taking. Risk taking was part of the game. And as new risk came along, uh, new risks were taken. And this is a new risk, no doubt about it. But it still is a form of insurance. It's a very fancy name, credit default ins uh, insurance, credit default risk. Credit default what? Swaps. Swaps, right, thank you. But it's nothing more than insurance on a proposition that if you have a, a subprime uh, uh, mortgage and lose it or it goes down in value, you'll get collateral to cover it. Ron, we were even talking just briefly before we came on the air. This is all complicated stuff. We're talking about a, a select group of people who knew what was going on, and perhaps even their managers could not understand the differences between credit default swaps and derivatives and all the other complex instruments. How much did that lead to what happened at AIG? Oh, I think that led a great deal. You know, today's testimony will be interesting. I read the testimony this morning. Mm -hmm. I did not understand 95% of it, and I'm sure the members members of Congress won't understand 95% of it, and I'm sure the great majority of executives at AIG didn't either. I think when you have something like that where you can obfuscate the meaning of your risk and what you're doing, there's just a chance of uh, greater loss. Right.